to get the top of this wind turbine, which is the only turbine open to the public in the UK. Now we're in Swaffham, Norfolk, where there are plans to build another six of these by Ecotricity, the green energy provider. Well, we thought it was worth a 300 step climb all the way up just to get a little bit closer to the inner workings of this machine. Now we could hardly hear it from the driveway, but coming up here closer, it sounds a bit like a faraway motorway and it's actually going at full blast right now. It's actually very windy. So we expect it's going to be a very dark climb up 300 steps. Now this turbine was built in 1999. At the time it was the first megawatt class turbine of its kind. So with us we've got Stuart Weaver from the Ecotech Centre, which is the Environmental Education Centre on site. And he's going to tell us a little bit more about this wind turbine. Now we just went up a spiral staircase. I imagine that not every wind turbine has a spiral staircase. Yes, that's right. Um, this is one of only three in the world that has this particular arrangement. This was manufactured in Germany actually and was brought by a road and boat to this site. The foundations were already constructed and with the use of a crane it took about three days to assemble. And the blades come in last, right? Yes. And there's three blades. Now they look enormous. How heavy is one of these blades? Each one is about three tons and is over 30 meters in length. So fair, considerable size. The idea is that the wind pushes the blades around? That's right, yes. And then there's a generator inside. It's actually positioned above where we are now. And that's where the electricity is made and it's taken down by cable into the base of the turbine and then uh, it goes actually into the local grid and then in connection with the national grid. This particular design doesn't have any gears so we don't get the noise that you might get from some turbines with a gear system. Um, it, it's quieter than that. The other noise that you get is the, is the swish of the blade and bearing in mind we're right next to those blades at the moment so we can hear that from in here. In order to better understand it, in terms of how many homes this would power, can you give us a sense? Yes, if you work out the average figure for this turbine over the course of a year, it, it equates to the um, domestic electrical needs of about a thousand homes. So this turbine and the other one that's behind me, between the two of them can provide about two thirds of the um, domestic electrical needs of Swaffer village that we see just here. Sounds good. Ecotricity have submitted a planning application for six new wind turbines, enough to power up to 9,000 homes. Now their plans will be open to the public and on display here until the 20th of March, and the consultation period ends on the 20th of May. Back in 2002, the local council actually uh, conducted a survey in which 90% of local residents were in favour of wind turbines in the area. Now we went just down the road to see what they actually think about these new plans. There are plans to build another six wind turbines in the area. What do you think of that? I'm absolutely fine with it. I think it's quite a good idea, actually. I think we've got to look at alternative ways of creating energy. I think it's a jolly good idea. I'm all for it. I don't mind them now. It doesn't worry me, quite honestly. No, I'd be quite happy. Depends where they are, of course. For me, it's, it's a great idea. I don't mind, not at all. I think it'll be fine. I'm all for it, so, yeah, I mean... Probably not going to be in my back garden, but um, no, I don't have problem with that at all. Anything we can do to help ourselves is fine by me. Yeah. Well, depending on what figures you actually look at, wind energy could provide up to 20% of the UK's energy needs. And one of the unexpected benefits of wind energy, which we just found out about, is that the view is pretty spectacular. Sounds good, I see. Sounds good, I see. Yeah. 